Dry Sonic Kits, top 10 best Sonic Kits, which one is right for you? When you first enter into the world of Dry Sonic Kits, it can feel incredibly intimidating. There's so much information, so many different companies and new terms to learn. Like what the heck is infrared or EMF for that matter? You could always spend time researching all the Dry Sauna jargon, but if there's a better solution, like watching this video or reading the article below, um, you'll have a good understanding of the major topics of the dry sauna kit industry. Um, together we can explore the heater technology, wood available, accessories, how to choose the right sauna for you, and of course review our most popular saunas. Um, let's start with what is infrared. Well, far infrared saunas work on a principle called radiant heat meaning we're heating the body directly, different than traditional or steam saunas that uses the principle called convection, meaning that we're heating the air and then heating the body. Um, we're actually heating the, the body directly. Um, the human body produces far infrared light in the form of body heat at exactly 9.4 microns. The measure of light at 9.4 microns is called biophotons. Um, body heat or biophoton far infrared light is the most natural method to heat the body. Um, just as skin to skin contact is important for a newborn baby or person suffering from hypothermia, body heat is, is the natural, safest and most efficient means to raise the core temperature of the human body. Um, a biophotonic far infrared dry sauna kit will gently and safely warm the body to promote healing at a cellular level to, <clears throat> that include healing responses such as low grade fever um, that will kill viruses, bacteria, parasites, um, in a far infrared sauna, 20% of our sweat contains toxins released from the body versus only 3% in a traditional sauna. Um, biophotons are absorbed in the body at a rate of 93% and the body will never take on more far infrared light than it needs. So no one has ever died or become sick as a result of using far infrared sauna because your body will never exceed a low grade, uh, fever. Um, so it's a healing fever. We're going to kill off lots of bad stuff in our bodies and, and feel great. Um, if we kind of compare the different heater technology that have, has come about throughout the years, um, we used to use um, ceramic heaters. Um, they're really kind of an old technology on the market right now. It was all we really had for 30 years. Um, these were ceramic tubes uh, that could get up to temperatures of like 400 degrees. So there was problems with um, contact burns. They're, they also have pretty high EMF, even though we've already kind of established that EMF is, is not really harmful um, in this range um, for a far infrared sauna. Um, they also would, heat, as they would heat up and cool down, um, the ceramic heaters would um, develop fine lines and cracks that could turn into cherry red charcoals on a backrest, um, which would, is a real fire hazard. <laughs> um, so we, we don't like to use those anymore. There's some other problems with them too, other than getting too hot and, and not, um, and developing those fine lines and cracks. Um, the other problem is that they emit far infrared light between five and 15 microns, um, in equal parts. So five microns, six microns, seven microns, all the way through 15 microns in all equal parts. Well, the human body only needs 9.4 microns of far infrared light. That's where we're finding the effective health benefits for far infrared. So you really want that to maximize the, the bio photon output of a heater, which is what we do with the carbon um, technology that we have now. Um, carbon heaters are much, much safer. We have two temperature sensors on every heater just to make sure that they're safe. We can shut them down if, if they happen to overheat. Um, so we've kind of eliminated some of the safety issues with the old ceramic style um, heaters. Um, what's nice about carbon is that, you know, we've been able to narrow the bandwidth of far infrared light to 9.4 microns 87% of the time. So 87% of the time you're getting, your body is getting exactly the micron bandwidth of far infrared light that it needs. You know, remember your body produces far infrared light in the form of body heat at 9.4 microns. So absorbing that at the same rate, um, and at the same bandwidth is going to be very beneficial and you're going to get more health benefits as a result of, of, um, using a bio photon heater. Um, there is a push in the industry for, for near infrared heaters, um, or in near infrared light therapy. 
Uh, really in our research what we have found is that near infrared has only really been used in the form of a laser over the course of the last decade specifically for wound healing. Um, we've also seen some studies where it's been used um, as a localized treatment for cancer cells similar to like um, uh, it, it's it, they just kind of like hover the laser over a tumor um, to kill away the the dead tissue uh, or to kill dead tissue or kill um, cancerous tissue um, they don't have any studies related to it in a in a sauna environment near infrared really only works on the surface of your skin it doesn't penetrate very deeply um, there are some studies that say it does have um, benefits to the skin um, but really that's only been studied in the form of a laser, not in these red light therapy bulbs um, that really you can buy at Home Depot um, and, and kind of mount on a board. A, a lot of companies who are offering this now are really using it um, because their, their temperature sem sensors in their, in their saunas are poorly calibrated. So rather than having the temperature read at your chin where it should be, um, it's reading near the roof of the sauna um, so that the temperature on the control panel is not um, reflective of the actual temperature in the rest of the room. Just it, It's just reflecting what's at the roof. So for ours, we've been able to kind of calibrate those so that, you know, the room temperature is exactly um, what it says on the control panel. Um, one of the, oh, so near infrared, um, they're really just using that to compensate uh, for that calibration in the thermostat. Um, they're trying to get more heat at the lower part of the, the sauna. They're using that through convection because those red light heaters can get pretty pretty high in temp. And then the EMF rating on them, it just kind of defeats the purpose of low EMF in a sauna because um, they're, they're actually quite high. Um, so um, that kind of, kind of covers the heaters and um, the EMF. Um, when we get to accessories, you know, lots of companies offer lots of different things. Um, at Celebration Saunas, we really include everything that we can. We give you um, backrests, oxygen ionizer, color therapy, lighting, music. Um, you get a full lifetime warranty. We repeat for parts and shipping for as long as you own the sauna. Uh, we also uh, pay for shipping and, and give you free lift gate service. Um, the only upgrade that we have is a sauna cushion, which I highly recommend. They are very comfortable and they protect your sauna from sweat stains. So um, they're a nice addition to your sauna. They, they really um, change the environment, um, make it very comfy inside. So how do you decide which um, sauna kit is going to be the right one for your home? Um, the first thing that you need to do definitely is to measure your space. How much space you have is going to determine which size sauna that you have. And don't forget to measure not just the space you're putting your sauna, but the route you have to take to get your sauna there. You know, we have saunas that are 73 inches by 77 inches um, wide and tall. And if you have a low staircase, you're not going to be able to fit that sauna into your into your basement or up your stairs. So it is important that you take measurements of, of the route that it's going to take. Um, we typically only have those kinds of problems with the larger saunas like the Saturn or the Jupiter. Um, so it is something to take into consideration. Um, once you've decided your um, the size of your space, that should narrow your choices down to a one or two person sauna or a three or four person sauna or larger. Um, one thing to note is that um, any three-person sauna or larger is going to require a dedicated 120 volt 20 amp circuit and um, if you don't have that electrical requirement you're going to be limited to a one or two person sauna um, sometimes an electrician will have to come in and put that in for you but it um, the three and four person saunas and larger are going to require um, that the sauna has its own breaker switch in the breaker box um, that it has 12 gauge wiring in the wall and that it has a 125 volt um, outlet in the in the wall. Um, so once you've determined your space and your electricity, you know, breeze over the different um, the different type size saunas that will fit in your space, one or two person saunas and kind of just kind of look and see which one kind of um, 
piques your interest and, and kind of stands out to you. From that point, I recommend that you use uh, masking tape and use the exterior dimensions of those to, um, uh, of those saunas to really kind of sit down in that space and make sure that the sauna is going to be enough space for you, but also that, so that it's not intrusive. So you don't have to walk into a room and go, Oh my God, there's a sauna. <laughs> um, so you really want, you know, a sauna that's going to fit your space. And I think one of the best ways of doing that is to taking is taking good measurements, using masking tape to tape that, um, down on the tape down those measurements on the floor. And then, um, get a good idea of if it's enough space for you and how it's going to fit in your room. Um, so now we get to do the fun part, which is um, our top 10 selling um, saunas. Um, our best overall dry sauna kit, one of our most popular, is the Aurora two-seater. Um, this sauna kit is a medical grade sauna. It boasts our, near, our newest near-zero biophoton heaters. Um, the Aurora infrared sauna is by far it's best selling for its space efficient design, those near zero heaters. Um, and the fact that it plugs into a standard household outlet. Um, the Aurora infrared sauna belongs to our commercial line of saunas because of its thicker wood and heavier duty power supply box, not to mention six of the newest near zero bio photon infrared heaters. This sauna is designed to last a lifetime. So we back it up with a lifetime warranty to make sure you have a working sauna for as long as you own it. Number two, um, best space efficient dry sauna kit is our Comet one person, one to two person corner unit. Uh, the Comet is a space efficient design, um, typically found in bathrooms and remodels across the country. For, um, it's, it's really space efficient. So two people can sit in the sauna, but it's definitely better for um, a one per, a comfortable one person sauna so you can stretch your legs out in front of you. Um, but uh, it only takes a few feet of space to fit neatly into nearly any room or, or remodel. Um, the very best value of our near zero EMF dry sauna kits is our Saturn four person dry sauna kit. Um, this is the behemoth of dry saunas. It has two five foot two inch benches. Um, so two people can sit in there with their backs against the side wall, their legs straight out in front of them with their toes meeting in the corner. And both of their backs will be against heaters. This is a design flaw of most corner units. Um, most corner units would have glass um, if you were seated glass at your back if you're seated in that position um, with your back against the side wall and your toes meeting in the corner when your legs are straight out in front of you. Um, so the Saturn having an, a heater there is um, a huge benefit. Two people really get two long benches to lay down on. Um, they got maximized heater coverage and with, you know, it's a great value because it has 12 heaters. My biggest sauna is the Jupiter six person sauna. It has 15 heaters and it's $2,500 more. So Without a doubt, you know, the Saturn four person sauna is um, one of our best values um, in terms of con heater configuration and bench space and a much taller person who's like six foot six can lay down in here um, when they utilize both benches. So um, the Saturn is uh, is also a commercial grade sauna or medical grade sauna with the near zero bio photon heaters. Um, our best first uh, dry sauna kit, um, so for your first time buyers, our satellite two-person sauna kit is usually an excellent choice. Um, it has a gemstone front cut um, design to the, to the front of the sauna. Um, oh, it's a beautiful sauna and it is very, very popular. Its bench is a little bit wider than some of our two-person saunas and slightly smaller than just a couple of our, of our two-person saunas. Um, it is a very beautiful sauna that will invite you into the room and it will delight you with luxurious, soft, penetrating biophotons to heal your body from the inside out. <laughs> 